Okay, so I did a video yesterday uh, and it was Raspberry Pi OS program launchers, which is this one here. And uh, I was basically trying to find a program launcher that is a bit like Twister OS, so it is an easy way of searching for all my apps and everything. And uh, I had a comment, I had loads of comments actually, and thanks for all of those. And I've gone through quite a lot of the things didn't work with Raspberry Pi OS. There may be more things I've got to do, um, but I was uh, I was just looking for a simple solution really. And uh, I think this one's it really. So uh, Christian said, I think you were looking for Whisker Menu. It is an XFCE panel plugin. Uh, and there's some instructions on here. But uh, I looked for it separately because I've done a video ages ago on XFCE. In fact, let's have a look. Uh, yeah, I did this one with the sort of Windows E. Uh, this was a photo I took of a field nearby. I'd, I'd forgotten how good it was really. So it's a lighter desktop for uh, Raspberry Pi OS. Although I don't know how much lighter because Raspberry Pi OS is, is super light anyway. So it's hard to tell if it's actually faster or not. So uh, you can see the look of it is different uh, and I'll show at the end of this video how to do this if you want to do this to Raspberry Pi OS, uh, if you want to install XFCE. So down the bottom here, the only thing I've touched since, since changing it is I've added something to it. So I've added Raspberry Pi Imager to this bar. But the bit that I really like is this. So if you click on this uh, magnifying glass, you can just start typing. So if I start typing display, you can see that comes up. Uh, if I start typing Chromium, or uh, files, you know, all sorts of things. So it, it is a really nice way of accessing things and accessing things fast without any keyboard shortcuts or anything like that. I don't, I'm not against keyboard shortcuts, but uh, if anybody was coming to this operating system new and hadn't used it before, I think it's pretty obvious that the search is down here. So when you hit that, uh, and there's all sorts of preferences you can change on here as well. Uh, and also it starts up like a light gray, with uh, different icons and fonts, but I'll show how to change that uh, in a minute. But yeah, just really pleased. Uh, so it also changes the, the way the folders look as well. Uh, so the Files app, if I double click on that, uh, I think this looks a lot nicer than Raspberry Pi OS. Uh, but because it's Raspberry Pi OS underneath the bonnet, it, it kind of behaves exactly the same. So if I do Browse Network to look for my NAS drive, all of that comes up in exactly the same way as it does with Raspberry Pi OS. So I would still rather a Twister OS Lite, uh, which I mentioned in the previous video. I don't know if that's gonna happen, but uh, it'd be nice if it did. But uh, this is, for me, a better looking version of Raspberry Pi OS. Uh, and if we go down through, it just seems to be nicer to use. And uh, just the overall look of it and everything. Right, so let's reboot in uh, Raspberry Pi OS. If you wanna do this to your graphical user interface on your desktop, then uh, I'll show you how to do it. So let's shut down. Uh, and shut down now is here. Log out. And shut down. Okay, so let's put this back to as it should look for Raspberry Pi OS. Uh, so solid color. Uh, and it would probably be like a sort of gray. Probably like that. Uh, and the desktop background. Okay, so it took me a while to find the original wallpapers because um, they're kind of hidden deep in the operating system. So uh, if we go to File Manager and uh, you need to put in here, uh, User Share RPD Wallpaper. So the one I was looking for, the original one that it comes up with is Temple which is here. I was just looking in alphabetical order, but it's not in alphabetical order, so that's why I couldn't find it. But there are some really nice ones in here. Uh, so if I open up a few, uh, there are some lovely desktop backgrounds. Anyway, so let's close all of those down. So we need to click on the picture, and uh, well, you don't need to do this if you've already got the original background. I just wanted to make this back to standard Raspberry Pi OS. So we need to go to File System and User, share and rpd wallpaper which is all the way down there and then click on temple and hit ok so now we are back to pretty much stock raspberry pi os i've got a few apps installed but we're not going to worry about that let's open up a web browser i'll put a link to this in the description i just got this from the raspberry pi forums although it's probably in my other xfce video uh, a different method because this is actually a really uh, old method Okay, here's the article, uh, and it's from 2012, <laughs> but it still works. So uh, so let's open a terminal, Control-Alt-T. 
So sudo apt get update I've already done. Uh, so this is the bit we need, sudo apt get install xfce4. I've copied that last little bit as well, haven't I? Let's just delete that last bit. Hit yes. Okay, so that's done. Let's right click and paste the next bit in. Sudo apt get install slim. And hit yes again. A blue screen will appear as it says, hit OK. Uh, select Slim and OK. So I don't know how important this next bit is, but I did it on the last one, I'll do it on this one. Sudo shut down R and now. Okay, so here's how it starts up. Uh, now if you press F1, you can see at the bottom it says session XFCE session and you can toggle through, uh, but I want it to be on XFCE session. And now I put in my username uh, and if you haven't changed it, it'll be Pi and Raspberry. Then I'll do use default config. And you can see that it looks very different. So what we want to do now, uh, well, you can, you can leave it as it is and have it like that if you like that. Um, but I prefer the dark mode on it. Okay, so if we go down to the bottom, click on the search application finder, and uh, let's go for appearance. Click on that and click launch. And I went for this dark one. And with the icons, I went for this one because I thought it looked nice, this flat theme. Uh, I didn't change the font, I probably could, but uh, I'll leave it as it is for now. Uh, and then let's just close that. And you can see that we've got this dark mode now, and uh, I just think it, it looks nicer um, as an operating system. And if you want to add anything to this panel at the bottom, just right click and select panel and add new items. And then we can hit add. Then we can hit launcher and add. Click on the launcher icon with the right click and properties. Uh, and then we can do plus and you can search for what, what you want to put in there. So I'll put uh, Raspberry Pi, and let's put Pi Apps. There you go. Uh, and if you want to do the same again, just right click, Panel, Add New Items, Launcher, Add. Then if we right click on that, and Properties, and Plus, and we can put something else in there as well. So uh, let's put uh, Commander Pi and hit Add. There you go, very straightforward. Okay, so I hope all this helps. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.